Hi guys, welcome to the part 5 of sign up using OTP. In the previous videos, we have already covered up the back end and also tested it. So now is the time to do the front end. For the front end, we are going to use view CLI and that to view 2 because view 3 and uh, view 5 has some compatibility issues on my system. So that's why we are going to do view 2. So let's get started. So first of all, we are going to rename our old project to back uh, SRC to back end and then we are going to also create a new folder called as front end. So this is done. Let's open the terminal. My environment is already activated. We can keep it as activated or we can uh, deactivate it that won't create any issues so let's quickly deactivate and then check where we are then let's navigate inside the folder front end so front end and then we are going to start by creating our project to create the project this is a command view create and whatever the project name is so I'm going to call it as sign up OTP and then we are going to actually I have already created a template for it but then I'm going to show you all how to do it manually so I'm going to go on manual select features I'm going to press enter then uh, all the pre uh, previously selected things are okay we just have to select router so for that I'm going to go to router and then click on spacebar so this will select the router I don't really want anything else so I'm going to press enter then I'm going to select view 2x version and I'm going to use ESLint plus prettier because uh, I like prettier to use and this will be a lint and fix on commit I want it to be saved in package JSON by the time this project gets installed let me show you all the web uh, beautify plugin so this is the plugin that we are going to use for designing front end also we are going to use Axios to make a backend requests I will give all the links in the description so you all can check all the plugin links and the code link is also present in the description so you all can check that out so I'll minimize and okay it is still installing so I will wait for it to finish installing and there we have two commands we have to navigate inside this directory and then uh, npm run serve so let me clear this and we'll navigate inside the directory and first we'll uh, run the project and check so npm run serve it will take some time and our project is up and running so let's go to this website and this is how it looks right now so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to add the beautify plugin uh, in view project so let me stop the server it is very important to note that we have to install the beautify plugin before starting to code because once we install the beautify plugin it overrides your entire project so i have already lost the project once and so i had to redo it so that's why we have to install our package first so uh, to install the package this is the command view add whatever the plugin name is so here beautify and we are going to use uh, the second one second option that is beautify to view cli i'm going to click on enter and this will start installing it so it has successfully installed and let's run the project again and check it out so i'm going to click on npm run serve so it has overridden all the old project and this is how it looks now so we are going to minimize this and install the last package that is xos so for uh, to install this package the command is little different it is npm install dash dash save and axios since i want to save this axios plugin in our json file so that's why i'm doing save so i'm going to click on enter and uh, till the time it gets installed let me expand this front end folder and sign up for otp folder and see so we have uh, this file then package.json readme is there package json lock is there these are not really useful for the project uh, we'll go inside source and most important files are in this that we are going to change and create new files for this project so as we see the access package is also installed so now we are going to run the project and check if it is working or not uh, so it will be npm run serve so we'll go back to the browser and refresh and check it is working so we don't really have any issues and all the packages are installed successfully so that's it guys for this video in the next video we are going to create the sign up form and do the user registration part so make sure to subscribe to our channel like this video comment and share and see you in the next one